this video I'm going to show you how to partially refund an order. So I'm going to go to one of my completed orders in sales orders and I'm going to go for this top order here which is £58. And it's £58 because it com consists of four different items with plenty of different quantities as well. So I'm going to go to credit memo and all I want to refund is one of these items and it's one of these, the customers bought two of them they only wanted one. So I'm going to change the quantity to refund of that to one and I'm going to change the quantity of these ones to zero. So I'm only refunding that one item. What I'm also going to do is check the return to stock item so that product will go back into stock in a moment and I'm going to click update quantities and keep an eye on this area down here. It's updated now, so it's going to only refund that one item, which costs twenty-five, uh, sorry, twenty pounds plus five pounds shipping. I'm going to oh, leave the shipping on. So the subtotal is sixteen sixty-seven plus three thirty-three VAT for that one product plus the five pounds shipping, of which none, no VAT is included in the shipping. And I'm going to put a comment over here. And I'm going to email this credit memo to the customer along with that comment. So they're going to be refunded £25 in total. I'm going to click refund offline. So just for the records for the system, that item, that product on this order is now refunded. But the rest of the order still stands as it was. Obviously, I've not actually carried out the refund here. I've only set it on the system. I would have to actually carry out the refund offline. As this was paid by check money order, then that's the situation I'd find myself in. If I scroll down and look at this order here, you can see this product has been ordered twice, invoiced for two items. Both of them have been dispatched and one of them have been refunded. If I go to my credit memo section, you can see a new credit memo ID has been created for me. And the amount refunded is £25. If I click into that, it gives you a breakdown of exactly what was refunded. So the subtotal, the delivery and the VAT. The customer will therefore receive £25 back. And that's how you create a partial refund on a product on an order in Magento.